Hello everyone. Let's start the another interesting topics of the WebRTC tutorial series. Today we are going to discuss about how can we use WebSocket for signaling server. First of all welcome all to engineering semester channel. We are providing new emerging technologies tutorials. <music> If you are new to this channel or new to this WebRTC series, please go and watch our introduction part first. Now let us get started. We have already discussed in the previous video about why we required a signaling server in WebRTC communication. Please watch the signaling video if you are new to this concept. In short we can say. Signaling is the process of exchanging users' details including IP address and other metadata. We all know that. WebRTC can communicate with users, but it cannot get user details directly. So that we have to share the session descriptions and media informations about each users. We can create our own signaling server. We can choose any type of server for the communication. In WebRTC peer-to-peer -peer communication, signaling server will pass as the offer, answer, I see candidates across the users. There are many types of protocols we can follow for communication between two or more systems. The most used communication protocol is the HTTPS. But if you want real-time and quick data transfer, HTTPS is not recommended. The WebSockets protocol is completely different from the HTTP or HTTPS protocol. WebSocket is a bi-directional socket connection between two endpoints. Those endpoints are a web server and a web browser. The WebSocket connection is a persistent connection between a client app and the server. The server can send messages to the client, and the client sends its response back with the same connection. It allows the server and client to communicate in an asynchronous way. WebSocket helps to create real-time communication between web servers and clients. So basically we can use WebSocket as one of the signaling server option in WebRTC communication. Now, the question is, how can we implement WebSockets? There are many ways. Out of these we prefer to go with WS library. Node.js is used for easily building fast, scalable network applications which support WS library. WS library help to create WebSocket over Node.js platform. NPM is the package manager for the Node JavaScript platform. It puts modules in place so that Node can find them and manages dependency conflicts. I have given a link to install the Node.js in your system. Next let us see a demo of how to create a WebSocket in Node.js to exchange the messages. I hope you have already installed Node.js and NPM in your system. I have already installed in my system. Once you have finished the installation, you can check the version by typing the version command in the terminal. So that you can make sure Node.js and NPM has successfully installed in your system. Now we have to write Node.js server application to build a WebSocket connection. Here I have written a simple code to create a WebSocket connection. I have named the file as server.js. In the first line of this server file, you can see that we can import the WS library by using require command. After you import the WebSocket by using WS library, now we have to create a new server on port 8895. You can use any of the port number except the reserved ports. Now our WebSocket server is listening in the 8895 port. WebSocket will provide a callback function when the connection is established. If the connection is successful, we can use connection.send and connection.message callbacks to send and receive messages from client. Once the WebSocket connection has closed, then we can use connection.close callback. These are the basic callbacks we can use in the WebSocket communication. Now we have to create a client-side application. For time being, we can create a simple HTML page with JavaScript as backend. Here you can see a simple HTML code with head and body section. 
I have linked a client JavaScript file in the head section of this HTML page. Next let us write a simple client-side JavaScript to connect with the WebSocket server that we have already created. In this JavaScript code, I have connected with a WebSocket server using WS library. Once you have created the WebSocket server, you can use WS.open callback to check whether the connection has successful or not. You can send the message from client side to Node.js server by WS.on message callback. Also you can use WS.on close callback to check whether the WebSocket connection has been closed or not. After this, we can open HTML page in the browser. Let us see how the web page looks like. You can see the console messages that has been added in the client.js file in the browser window. Before that we have to start the Node.js server first. To start the server, we have to use nodeserver.js command. If you have first time installed the Node.js in your system, then you may have faced some error like cannot find module WS exception. To resolve this dependency error, you can use npm install WS command. Once you install the WS library, then a new folder with name as node modules will create in your local directory. Once this issue is resolved, you can start the server again by nodeserver.js command. After running the command, you can see the message that server started with port 8895. Now let us look whether the HTML page has connected with WebSocket or not. You can see the message from the Node.js server in the HTML page through an alert window. The corresponding Nodage's server log messages also you can see in the terminal. After closing the HTML page, you can see the disconnecting user messages in the terminal. That's it for now. I hope you have understood a basic idea about WebSocket connection using Node.js. This is very helpful when we create a WebRTC application. We can use this concept for the WebRTC signaling. We can send WebRTC offer and answer through Node.js server to the client. If you are thinking this is informative video, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.